Well, 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 welcome back guys. This is part two of my video for hunting my yard again. I didn't do too bad this time. I went still, went back over right in here. You can see all the holes I dug. <laughs> but it's really muddy in here and everything. So I can't really fill the holes back in there that much better. I did the best I could, but right there and you know, all over here back up in there again and for my findings for the day not a whole lot but I was out here for about two and a half to three hours throughout the day and I found some junk wire some more junk wire or that piece of metal is. <laughs> I'm not sure what that one is. Probably just a piece of rust or something. And five more 22 shells. And I'm not sure what this is, but if I had to guess, it looks like it could be like a temperature gauge or um, not temperature gauge, a uh, tire gauge like to have a tire gauge or something I don't know and then another piece of metal and a screw a couple more 22's pull tab some junk foil and a 22 bullet And then my big find for the day, I'm not sure what this is. At first I thought it was a coin, like a 50 cent piece, and then I got a 50 cent piece and measured it up, but this one was like gigantic to a 50 cent piece. I hit the magnet onto it and it stuck. So it's steel or iron or something like that. This is what I got my dad out here with me after he got from home from work. He saw I found that and got his interest going, so he decided to come out here with me. And his pile, he was only out here for like 20 minutes or a half hour or so. He found some piece of lead, 22 bullet, a rifle cartridge bullet. It's a I'm not sure what that is. Can't really read it. And then a bullet also. There's the front of it. It looks pretty smooth. It's like a mushroom. <laughs> and then his good finds for a day. He beat me today. I'll admit that. But he found a 1972 plane. Stinking Lincoln. <laughs> As Junk Junkie calls him. And then his good find for the day, although peed off about this one, but I'm glad he found it. It's a 1945 wheat. Friends are a little tested, so back, but you can still make him out. Not too bad of a hunt today, guys. Hopefully I'll get out here another time, either tomorrow or... Another day, I'm not sure yet. But hopefully I can find some more wheats in this yard. <laughs> Surprised that wheat's actually right out here in this yard, but Yeah, not a bad hunt guys. Still trying to figure out the AT Pro. I don't know why, but for some reason um it'll make like some choppy hits and then it'll go like act like the battery is dying but it says the battery is full so if you guys know anything about that please let me know I've got no clue what that means or what that's about but it's really kind of irritating when you're trying to find some good items out here in the yard and then it starts going soft and then loud and then soft again at first I thought it was a battery but it said the battery is full and then I thought it was the headphones so I checked the headphones and it wasn't those so I'm thinking it's either the detector itself or I'm not sure what else it could be. 
So if you guys know what that means, please let me know and either email me or comment on the video or whatever. But thank you guys for your help with that. But yeah, not a bad hunt for a couple hours out here. Did find where that is. I wish there was coin. It almost looked like it was large cent or a half dollar or something, but I don't think it's anything good. But thank you guys for watching and taking time to watch and catch you guys in the next video and hopefully I put the coil to the soil some more. Alright, bye bye guys.